interesting facts about famous people. Recognition of the Greatest Western Actors, Hall of Famers An important recognition of the Western genre's greatest actors is their legacy and their body of work. The National Cowboy Museum is one institution that recognises the best. The inductees into the Hall of Great Western Performers have kept the American West in the public's collective eye, thus perpetuating its legacy and enduring mythology. I'm showing you some of the earlier inductees today. There are, of course, more. I expect to follow up with another video based on how much you like this one. If you enjoy this video, take a look at my channel for many more. The link is in the description. Inducted in 1958, Tom Mix, 1880 to 1940, was an actor and star of early Western films between 1909 and 1935, appearing in 291 films, all but nine were silent films, Hollywood's first Western star that helped define the genre as the early days of the cinema. Inducted in 1966, Gary Cooper, 1901 to 1961, was an actor known for his strong, quiet screen persona and understated acting style, winning the Oscar for Best Actor twice and a further three nominations, and an Academy Honorary Award in 1961 for his career achievements. He was one of the top 10 film personalities for 23 consecutive years and one of the top money-making stars for 18 years. Inducted in 1968, Amanda Blake, 1920 to 1989, an American actress best known for the role of the redhead saloon proprietress Miss Kitty Russell on the Western television series Gunsmoke. Inducted in 1969, Joel McCree, 1905 to 1990 a career spanning a wide variety of genres over almost five decades, including comedy, drama, romance, thrillers, adventures and westerns, for which he became best known. He appeared in over 100 films, starring in over 80, among Howard Hawke's Barbary Coast and a number of western films including Wichita as Wyatt Earp and Sam Peckingpah's Ride the High Country. Inducted in 1970, Robert Taylor, 1911 to 1969, a film and television actor and singer, one of the most popular leading men of cinema. Taylor began his career in 1934, during World War II. He served in the United States Naval Air Forces, where he worked as a flight instructor and appeared in instructional films. In 1966, he assumed hosting duties from his friend Ronald Reagan on the series Death Valley Days. Taylor was married to actress Barbara Standwick from 1939 to 1952. Inducted in 1970, Walter Brennan, 1894 to 1974, an actor and singer. He won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his performances in Come and Get It, 1936, Kentucky, 1938, and The Westerner, 1940 one of only three male actors to win three Academy Awards and the only actor to win three awards in the Supporting Actor category, also nominated for his performance in Sergeant York, 1941. Other noteworthy performances were My Darling Clementine, 1946, Red River, 1948, and Rio Bravo, 1959. Inducted in 1972, James Stewart, 1908, to 1997, an actor, known for his distinctive draw and everyman screen persona, a career spanning 80 films from 1935 to 1991, with the strong morality he portrayed both on and off the screen. He epitomised the American ideal. In 1999, the American Film Institute ranked him third on its list of the greatest American male actors. Inducted in 1972, Gene Autry, 1907 to 1998, was an actor, musician, singer, 
composer, rodeo performer, and baseball owner, who gained fame largely by singing on radio, in films, and on television, for more than three decades, beginning in the 1930s, appearing in 93 films between 1950 and 1956, hosted the Gene Autry Show television series. During the 1930s and 1940s, he personified the straight-shooting hero, honest, brave and true. His singing cowboy films were the first vehicle to carry country music to a national audience. Inducted in 1973, Barbara Standwick, 1907 to 1990, an actress, model and dancer, a stage, film and television star. During her 60-year professional career, she was known for her strong, realistic screen presence and versatility. She was a favourite of directors, including Cecil B. DeMille, Fritz Lang and Frank Capra, and made 85 films in 38 years before turning to television. By 1944, Standwick had become the highest paid actress in the United States. In the 1960s, she won three Emmy Awards for The Barbara Standwick Show, 1961, the Western series The Big Valley, 1966. Inducted in 1973, Buck Jones, 1891 to 1942, was an American actor, known for his work in many popular Western movies. In his early film performances, he was credited as Charles Jones. Inducted in 1974, John Wayne, 1907 to 1979, was an actor that became a popular icon through his roles in films which were made during Hollywood's golden era, especially his roles in westerns. His career transitioned the silent era of the 20s through the American New Wave. He appeared in a total of 179 films and television productions. He was among the top box office drawers for three decades. He appeared with many other famous Hollywood actors of the era. The American Film Institute in 1999 selected Wayne as one of the greatest male stars of classic American cinema. Inducted in 1974, Tim McCoy, 1891 to 1977, was an actor, military officer and expert on American Indian life. McCoy is most noted for his roles in B-grade Western films as a popular cowboy film star. He appeared on the front of the Wheaties cereal box. Inducted in 1975, Randolph Scott, 1898 to 1987, was an actor whose career spanned the years from 1928 to 1962, playing a leading man for all but the first three years of his film career appearing in a variety of genres. However, his most lasting image is of the tall in the saddle Western hero. Of his more than 100 films, more than 60 were in Westerns. Of all the major stars whose name was associated with the Western, Scott's was most identified with it. Inducted in 1975, William Surrey Hart, 1864 to 1946, was a silent film actor screenwriter, director and producer. Remembered as a leading Western star of the silent era, who encapsulated all his characters with integrity and honour. In the late 1910s and early 20s, he was one of the most popular movie stars, often ranking high among male actors in popularity contests. Inducted in 1976, Roy Rogers, 1911 to 1998, was a singer, actor and television host. As co-founder of the Sons of the Pioneers, and then as an actor, Rogers then became one of the most popular Western stars of the era, known as the King of the Cowboys, appearing in more than 100 films and numerous radio and television episodes of The Roy Rogers Show. In many of the films and television episodes, he appeared with his wife, Dale Evans, his Golden Palomino, Trigger, and his German Shepherd, Bullet. Thanks for your time today. I hope you like the video. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Don't forget to hit the notification button to get my new videos. Drop me your comments. Bye for now. See you again soon. Please take time to take a look at my Facebook page for new information.